Jack Champion is our guest today. Like and subscribe to the KJ Today Show for the positive vibes of pop culture, people to know, and pets. Hello, Jack. Uh, Welcome to Indianapolis. It is so lovely to have you on the show today. I hope you are enjoying your morning. My cat butter is right now. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, I, uh, I, I, we're, we're here to talk about this Scream movie that's coming out. Uh, but with your career being where it is right now, being a part of this franchise, a part of Avatar, uh, I definitely want to ask you a little bit about uh, your role in The Avengers. I think we've got aspiring actors wanting to know, what is your secret to success? <laughs> Definitely uh, have good people around you. Um, like, I have to credit a lot of my success to my mom because she really helped me throughout my whole career, um, you know, just help build myself up, get, you know, get roles, get get an agent, you know, because I was 10 when I started. Um, so just have a lot of good people around you, I'd say. So with uh, Scream 6, uh, again, another amazing franchise that you've joined. Tell us a little bit about the the movie and your role in it uh, and how excited it must be to uh, get it out there this weekend. I mean, I've so excited for people to see Scream 6. Like, it, you have no idea. It, I mean, it's first of all, it's the first Scream movie based in a city. And not only a city, you know, New York City. And it's just, it's, it's so different. It's so more brutal. It's scarier and still really funny at times. Like, it's just, it's a perfect screen movie. And I'm so excited for people to see. Was it intimidating at all? I mean, I guess you've been in some other franchises. But was it intimidating at all to uh, to be a part of this horror franchise that, you know, that has been uh, so successful and to be working with Courtney Cox? Oh my, uh, okay, so I think at first, before I booked it, it was very intimidating because, you know, it's this big franchise and I don't know what to expect, but as soon as I got there, the directors, the, the producers, the cast, I mean, I'm not kidding when I say everyone was so incredibly welcoming and nice that I just, I, I like, it, it didn't take long for me to feel like they, they were they were family, you know, and from there, it just kind of felt like we were just always having a good time, like we were just a group of kids, just, you know, making a really <laughs> high-budget student film. <laughs> Are you are you into these kind of films? Were you a, a fan of Scream before you came became a cast member? Oh yeah, big time. I I was um, I was introduced to uh, the Scream franchise. I think six months before I even like found out they were going to make a Scream six. But I've always been a fan of of, of horror, um, elevated horror, slash it, slashers. Um, you know, like uh, a, a, anything scary. I just love it. And to be part of such something just so like you know like scream, it's just I still I'm wrapping my my mind around. It. <laughs> was it uh, a similar feeling for you when you uh, found out that you were going to be such a big part of Avatar? It was because I mean Avatar was the thing about Avatar is I so for Scream it was only eight weeks. I already knew that you know two months kind of in and out suit, but Avatar. We knew it was at least going to be like two years. It turned, it turned out being four years. And it was just like after it was life changing, like literally altering. Like we had to live in L.A. practically for months on end. Everything about me changed from me growing, you know, hitting puberty on set, <laughs> kind of almost being raised on set, um, surrounded by just everyone, gym, stunt guys, uh, actors. It's just that was very life altering. So it was like a similar feeling like oh, I'm about to be a part of this great franchise. But Avatar was just life-changing well and it, it again such a huge commitment to be like wow this is going to be years of my life but knowing that it's had so much success you know you, i i think you you probably had to feel good about these are going to be great years of my life oh yeah no it, it was i mean uh it, it it's like because i mean i think in the moment it's it's hard to, to try and relish it you know of course but I honestly, all the memories I've made, sometimes I just find myself scrolling through like <laughs> the photos on my phone and all these memories just come flooding back of little moments of just awesome times with, with, with cast on whether it was Scream or Avatar. And I just always 
kind of get a little emotional because I think of all the times, great times I, I, I shared with these people. Well, and let's uh, speak of the great time that you had uh, in your in your small but impactful role in Avengers Endgame uh, when, you know, uh, Paul Rudd's character comes running up to you and is like, kid, what happened? Uh, I will tell you, like, that I know it was short, Jack, but that stare, like that glance, it was meaningful. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh man. Yeah. It, you, it, you know, it's crazy the amount of people that have come up to me and been like, "Oh my God, a kid on bike!" That moment, <laughs> and I'm like, "Wow, I never knew it made such an impact." <laughs> yes. But I'm, I'm happy. Yes, because we all were like, "What happened?" And I, if I remember correctly, I think I I saw you talking about. You were talking with Paul Rudd on set about how you maybe had a chance to be an Avatar. Was he supportive of your career? First of all, Paul Rudd is like one of the nicest human beings on the planet, and he and we like we had, like our chair, our set cast chairs were right next to each other. So I just asked him questions all the time. And once I told him about Avatar, he's like, "Oh my God, this is amazing! Like I really, I really hope you get it." And then fast forward years later, I saw him at D twenty three, and he's literally. Just, you know, like standing there in the corner, you know, drinking, like, you know, sipping a martini, something badass. And I go up to him and I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, I don't know if you remember me because I'm like, you know, like look like a grown man. But I'm like, oh, I, I was a kid. I was a kid on bike. And he he recognized me. And it was just kind of like this monumental moment for me. Like, you know, I made it. I did it. And uh, it was such a such a cool moment. Well, I did have uh, one fan this morning who said, you know, I think we deserve a, 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 a series or at least a one-off of what Kid on Bike is doing now. Uh, would you be up for returning to the Avengers world? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I feel like I, I feel like if, if the Avengers call, you can't say no. <laughs> <You know? laughs> um, kid on Bike, yeah. I think there's a lot you could do with that character, a lot of potential. Well, uh, congratulations on all of your success, Jack. And uh, obviously, we're expecting great things from Scream. And I think at this point, we're expecting great things from you for years to come. Thanks so much for being on the show this morning. Thanks for joining us for another celebrity interview. Of course, the KJ Today Show isn't just about talking to celebs. It's about hanging out with you. Join us live on Wednesday nights for pop culture, people to know, and pets. The KJ Today Show on YouTube. Subscribe and watch live Wednesday nights at 7.